And independent power producers want the Ministry of Energy to relook at the various taxes that are charged on power in the country, stating that this will go a long way in reducing the cost of power in the country. Electricity Sector Association of Kenya Chairman George Aluru further stated that operational inefficiencies at Kenya Power lead to power loss of up to 25%, which if addressed could also go a long way in reducing the cost of electricity in the country. Faisal Ahmed has more on on this story. The cost of power in the country has been widely debated, with many, including the government, stating that the power distributor Kenya Power had entered into unfavorable contracts with independent power producers, IPPs, who sold power at high rates, prompting the Ministry of Energy to ask for renegotiations of contracts between the IPPs and Kenya Power. With the talks still at the initial stages, the IPPs through lobby group Electricity Sector Association of Kenya now wants the Energy Ministry to relook at how Kenya Power buys electricity and make the process more competitive and open to ensure transparency. Of, of the lowest hanging fruits is, is to probably take out some of the taxes on, on the domestic consumers, especially VAT. I mean, on, on uh, industrial consumers, yes, they, they are charged VAT, but you, you know they, they are registered for VAT. So if there's an input and output VAT, you can actually recover it every month. You, they can recover their VAT costs, but, but for the domestic consumer... Further, they are calling for streamlining of systems at Kenya Power to ensure that the power that is sold is not lost, which in turn in increases the cost of the overall electricity sold to consumers. It's really, it's sad. I mean, we, we produce, we lose, I think as, as of the last year, it was about 24% of, of the electricity that we, we then sell to Kenya Power. You can imagine that Kenjen and, and the independent power producers supply power, electricity to Kenya, to Kenya Power, and close to a quarter of that is lost system losses, pilferage or theft, if you like. Yeah. So those are the loopholes we need to seal. We, we need to ensure that Kenya Power is in a position where they are, they are able to meet their costs. Energy and Petroleum Cabinet Secretary Monica Juma in January said the cost of power would come down by March to fulfill President Uhuru Kenyatta's promise of a 30% reduction of electricity bills to homes. The cuts were hinged on a deal to review the power purchasing agreements signed over years by Kenya Power. The IPPs opposed the unilateral push to lower the cost of power at which they sell electricity to Kenya Power, setting a stage for a legal battle. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.